Philip Ballard is an executive with group and individual hotel booking giant, hotelplanner.com. There's still some lingering after effects of the initial furloughs. I think a lot of employees left for other industries, didn't want to come back. Throw in three major COVID surges now, a lack of childcare and five weeks of travel holidays. Not enough people are being hired back fast enough. While the usual post-holiday travel lull will give airlines a chance now to catch up, an onslaught of travel, leisure, and business is already being booked. People, uh, I think, have been used to traveling with COVID. They're taking a risk-based approach. There's two years of pent-up travel demand. Weddings are back. Sports-related travel's back. Leisure travel is certainly back. And don't count on a lot of frenzied competition, but expect higher prices. And so the four major airlines who control almost all of the domestic travel in the United States, I think, are less likely to be aggressively competitive than they were before the pandemic. Barring more variants, pre-pandemic travel and the ability to service it should be back by summer. Tom Vacar, KTVU Fox 2 News.